Aloha and welcome back. I'm Fade Panther and this is Niho. Um, this will probably be Tuesday if I like uploaded these properly in time. Um, there will be four episodes of this this week. Last one being on Sunday. All right. Uh, let me light attack, heavy attack, dodge. Yep, okay, I'm just, I'm not strong enough to fight them yet. Yep, just not, just not strong enough. All right. If I had a parry mechanic or something like that, I would be a very different story, but I do not. Um, this way? Using monsters like that to fight wars. Guess they got no more use for us. His body just split in two. Oh God! He, he wanted to kill me from the start. Striking when the opponent is down and helpless. That's what they're trying to do to all of us who fought for queen and country. Activities, greatest entertainment comes from public execution of criminals. Whether young, old, rich, or poor, not a soul in England would spare her mercy for those who held captive in the Tower of London. With a great hawk of meat in one hand and a mug of ale in the other, they would cheer enthusiastically when a criminal met his bloody end. Yummy. What now? Oh. Ooh, an even stronger one of this. 
Yes, please. Ugh. Bitch. Hey. Ah, it's you. The man with the guardian spirit. Hey, look, it's another Baldy. If I die, the secret of the stones dies with me. Let me show you what these stones can do. Behold. For your execution. Uh, it's not going to be easy this time, is it? Oh, shit. At least it's unlike uh, Dark Souls in the fact that. Are you? I know you're dead, but are you okay, dude? I don't think you are. Ooh. That defensive grade. Alright, uh, uh, in Dark Souls. In Dark Souls, um, if you bit it, that's it. You bit it. You're done. Uh, and then you'd lose uh, souls that you had to go and reclaim. This one so far doesn't seem to be doing that. It is difficult, but it doesn't have that much. Okay, yeah, I have to. I have to fight them all the way through. Oh, they oh, that I'm I'm happy for that. Nope. Woo! Ah. Uh, fuck off. Wait, is there
Can I not upgrade myself in any way? I guess not yet. Here we go again. Okay, this is what I was supposed to be doing. <clears throat> oh, well done. Quite a feat. Oh, I like that. Muskets were actually incredibly inaccurate. Once those bullets hit water, they are useless. However, uh, jumping into water when explosives are around is the worst thing to do. So, yeah. A long journey begins. I, I just got that achievement and I don't like the way that sounds. Though I am enjoying this so far. Enjoy. 
During two years' voyage, the Helof was lost. The trow sank, while the hope vanished without a trace. The good news of the Blyde Aboats Hap was nothing but lies. Only Leifda remained. Leifda. That definitely sounds like an Irish name. An ironic twist. For what awaited us in the Far East wasn't love. It was monsters and death. Sweet. I got a new title card. Alright. Before I begin my preparations for landfall, I leaf once more through the curious book that I had chanced upon. Recorded within are memories of a sailor who once paid visit to the land of Zipau. Uh, Zi Pang Yu. Precisely how this document wound up in the hold of this ship when its author clearly be uh, belonged to the crew of a different boat is beyond me. But here I am, poring over its pages, all the same. And not for the first time this voyage, I may add. What fascinated me, above all else, were the memoir's many accounts of Zimpan Gu's diverse armor and weaponry. Oh, so here, okay. The sailor from the memoir seems to have spent quite some time in Zinpong Yu. Gu succeeded in keeping company of a samurai. He writes in detail of establishments in Zinpong Yu called dojo, where people, including samurai, congregate for instruction in mental or martial disciplines. Just reading the uh, sailor's vivid accounts, I feel as though I were, uh, I am there in the flesh watching these warriors train. Samurai are the master of many armaments and trained uh, trains for co uh, combat in every imaginable scenario. What if uh, if I were to use another weapon? Which one would I choose? Oh, uh, can I go back? I didn't realize I was... Ah. Uh, ooh. So I like... I don't actually like swords. But I'll probably be able to... Um, a pair of swords. Um, one in each hand. A single blow from either blade lacks power. But they enable rapid consecutive attacks when used together. They make an excellent choice of weapon when surrounded by numerous assailants. Tampa, a pair of ben, ben, uh, batons, each with a handle and one held in each hand. They allow for numerous high speed skills and excel at whittling away enemy's key. While they make it easy to deal with incoming attacks, they can just as easily be off uh, used offensively. However, their limited range makes the wielder uh, must mean. Oh, the, uh, however, their limited range means the wielder must remain within close to their opponent. I'm not pronouncing that one. Uh, a comma. Um, a weapon that combines a sickle and a weighted chain. Mastery of this wep uh, unusual weapon requires deep understanding of many special techniques. The sickle allows for quick strike at close range, and the chain and weight can be thrown to add range to the weapon's offensive repertoire. I think I want that. The memoir also asserts that the samurai are knowledge in martial arts. First, they know which fighting stance to use in each situation. High, medium, low. Uh, high, medium, or low. Second, after each attack, 
They ready themselves for the next strike by focusing their key or inner energy. Third, once the key is readied, the samurai can use purification techniques to rid their surroundings of malevolence. I know not how to explain it, but I feel as though I have some innate ability to grasp all these concepts and have experimented with uh, many times with each technique. The memoir states that Zimpago, Sinpango is home to eight million gods and other deities. Exactly how this figure was derived I cannot imagine, but as I cast my gaze at the shore, I am struck with the sensation that some mystical power has been keeping watch over me. It is an energy that remains reminds me of Sahuizi, the spirit he once had. I pull their memoir, pull out their memoir once more, survey each page until I ha arrive at the guardian spirit that best matches the force I am seeking. Okay, so we have three here. Kanto, wolf's, uh, a wolf guardian spirit of the fire element. Strengthens attack power of those it protects. Is, uh, Izo Han, uh, nan, nade. Izo nande. A shark, guardian spirit of the water element. Amplifies the ability of those who protect to sense it. Dana Ba Washi. A hawk spirit of the wind increases evasive abilities of those who protects. Ah, uh, I think I want this. I want to change this to this. Begin tutorial mission. Because, you know, the first episode and most of this episode... No, that wasn't the tutorial. That was the basics. If I make a game, that's not going to be how I do this. Okay. Living weapons. Living weapon. When a guardian spirit Atma gauge is full, press B and Y at the same time. Guardian spirit skill. A living weapon. When a living weapon is active, press that. Triggering a level. Uh, blah, blah. Triggering a living weapon charges the health gauge and key changes them into living weapon gauge. As long as the living weapon is active, you are impervious to damage. And your close combat attacks inflict more damage. Living weapon decreases over time, and when enemy attacks land. So the game just fully depleted, the effect wears off. While it's active, you can perform the skill. <laughs> okay. Cool. Quick attack, strong attack. Are fast, don't consume much key, but also causes slight damage, more powerful. Uh huh. Light, heavy. Sweet, okay. <laughs> How about... Oh. There we go. Uh, lock on, switch target. Yeah, I figured that out. 
When you look on, it displays their health and key. Okay, cool. Okay, so high stance emphasizes attack power, allowing powerful techniques. Mid is good for defense, has a wide range of techniques and easy to use. Low is good for dodging. It doesn't consume much key, but also maintains your guard as you move. Ooh. So mid is what I've been used to using. Cool. RB while blue lights gather around you after attack. Kai, Kai, a uh, key pulse. A key pulse recovers your key. I need to see this. Yokai Realm and Purifications. Oh. Yokai Realm, another world born from the Yokai. When you are in a Yokai Realm, your key recovery speed is greatly reduced. Conversely, the power of Yokais themselves are enhanced there. Purification. Purify recovers the maximum amount of key from a successful key pulse in the Yokai Realm. It also cleanses the defilement of the Kyokai realm from your pers uh, person restoring you to normal. Oh, okay. So that's the Yokai realm. Alright. actually told me how to use purify ah oh 
Oh, I have to be in the center of it to, uh, when using the key pulse. Gotcha. All right. Not a fan of big weapons. Okay. Right trigger while holding left trigger. Switch ammo. Okay. Ready your ranged weapon with left trigger and press right trigger to shoot. Use right stick to move the reticle. Switch between ammo by pressing X or Y. Some enemies have a weak point. Landing a hit on their weak spot will deal greater damage and break their stance. The middle of the reticule will turn red when you point at an enemy's weak point. The rest of the reticle will turn red the closer you are to an enemy. Jesus. Before I do that, Sansa's key pulse to be okay, fly and blah blah. Okay. Huh. Living weapons. I like it. Okay. Uh. Cool. Um, I will catch you all in the next episode. Until then, have fun, be safe, and aloha.